All edges of a cube are expanding at a rate of six centimeters per second. Hey, all right, Josh. How fast is the surface area changing when each edge is three centimeters? Okay, so to do this problem, I won't give you the formula Y, because if I can come up with a formula, you can do it. So, let's draw a cube. So I'm gonna show you how to draw a cube. I don't know if you know this. Check this out. So to draw a cube, you draw a square. Then you draw another square. And this is one way to do it, like this. And then you connect the dots. Watch this. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. So that's how you draw a cube. Anyone not know how to do that until now? Did you? you yeah. You didn't know? Oh, you knew already? So let me do it again in case you don't know, because I'm not artistic. So square, square. There's a better way to do it, but. See that? All right, good stuff. So that's how you draw a cube. So a cube, all the sides are the same length, right? So, so I guess this is x, and this is x, and they're all x, right? Everything is x. So we want, we want the surface area. So how many sides are on a cube? Six. Six. Who said that? Good. Good. Uh, Joey. No. Jason. Richard. No, OK. <laughs> so. Thomas, I was close. Richard Thomas is the same, right? No, it doesn't matter. Okay, sorry. So six, because you have one on top, one on the bottom, right? Top, bottom, and then four around. It's like the Macarena, right? One on top, one on the bottom, and then four around. So six. What's the area of one side? X times X. So it's X squared plus X squared six times. So the surface area is six X squared. That's the surface area, because you have six sides and they're all x squared because it's x squared plus 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 x squared so you get six x squared right it's 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 x squared plus 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 x squared so you have one two three four five six six x squared what if it was the one nick was talking about if it was volume it's length times width times height but each one of those is the same, so it would just be x times x, so x cubed. So on that one, it's x cubed. Right, good. Be careful on the test, right? Uh, sometimes on the test, people, like, they won't read the question and they use the wrong formula. Terrible mistake, right? Because then, like, I don't know what to do. Like, <laughs> like I don't know how, like, I don't know how I grade that. Like, I don't know. I mean, it's wrong, but how wrong is it, right? Okay, what are we given and what do we need? So given and then need. Given and need. So we're given something, I don't know, let's see. All edges of a cube are expanding at a rate of six centimeters per second. So that's the rate of change of the edge. So the edge is x. Dx dt. dx dt, very good, Aaron, like a pro. So we're given dx dt. By the way, it's positive because it's expanding. If the, if the cube was shrinking, what do you think it would be? Negative. That happens. There's one on the work, there's one on the worksheet or on the video in the videos where it's like a melting snowball. So the radius is decreasing, so it's negative, right? That's something to keep in mind. And then we need the surface area change. So what would we call that? DSTT. DSTT. Very good, Maria. DSTT. So you see how you need the equation in order to create what you're given and what you need. These are tough. Like when I took calculus years ago, I'm pretty sure I got all of these wrong on the test. But isn't it where x is equal to 3? Yeah. Yeah. And then so you also have to add that when x is equal to 3. <laughs> <laughs> can, I, can, I borrow, can I borrow the pen? What color? <laughs> <laughs> They're all bad. All right. No, no. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Wow, this is nice. My hands are dirty. I'm sorry. It's it's just. Oh, that's ridiculous. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see that because it was down here. I just. Mm -hmm. The edge is x. The edge is x. Yeah, dx. The rate of change of the edge. Yep. Hey, all right, all right. So let's do it. So now we have this, and we got to take the derivative of this with respect to t. So on the left hand side, we get we get ds dt. Ds dt. Then on the right hand side, it'll be 12x times, what do you think? 
Well, dx dt, which is just 6, which I'll plug it in now, but dx dt, yeah. Chain rule, right? You bring down the 2, multiply by the derivative of the inside piece. The derivative of the inside piece. All right, so now we'll plug in this stuff. So ds dt equals 12x times uh, dx dt, which is, which is 6. So this is going to be ds dt equals uh, 6 times 12 is 72, so 72x, 72. Is that an energy drink? Good stuff, what kind is it? It's the Monster. Cool. Cool, cool, good stuff. It's good. I haven't had one of those in a while. I should start drinking those. What do we do next? Plug in the x. X equals 3, right? So when we do that, what do we have to write? Do you remember the, and the what, the, the, the line, yes, the line, it's so important, super key, thank you, good, oh, you're going to get it right, I know you will, because you will, so it's 72, 72 times 3, this is such a common mistake, the line, it's like, oh, it's like every, it's like, no, the line, minus 1, the line, you know, minus 2, it's, please get the line right, uh, <laughs> it's just so good. Big numbers, 216, I believe you, trust. 216, oh, and it's surface area, so it's centimeters what? what it, squared per second. 